Howdy ho, welcome bar club. I got this challenge on my Discord server. Which is free, by the way. We do some uh, challenge from time to time. And now it's uh, sci-fi versus fantasy and rust versus overgrowth. So this is my idea, a little sketch. For the doors, I will make some rusty diamond plate. I collected some bits before I started from my trash can, <laughs> aka bits box. Some pieces of bush, dead bush from the garden for the trees that will grow on the house. Some cardboard. I like cardboard for the main basic structure. Uh, in the bits box I also had some pre-painted, pre-textured stones I will use for cornerstones. I had this idea. I build up the corners of the house like a column. And uh, for the glue, I don't take glue. I made a mix of PVA, tile grout and beige acrylic color. And I use it as mortar, like you would build a real stone wall. So it's also pre-textured and pre-painted. So I don't have to bother with that later. And it fills the gaps nicely. So after having the corners done, they have to dry a little bit. I'm cutting some cardboard for the basic wall structure. It will not be visible later. I will put some plaster on top of that. The same mortar mix for texture. So this is only a test piece for the challenge to get feel for the look. You can join if you want. The challenge goes until end of September 2022. So we still are in August now when the video drops. You get more than one month. So after the cornerstones were dried, I enforced them with toothpick inside. Um, I'm cutting out those small holes so I can push the cardboard in there and then the cornerstone is a connector of walls. Cutting the other side and doing that with all four sides and then gluing that stuff together. I'm pushing the cardboard directly into my PVA tile grout acrylic color mortar mix. Um, the cool thing is there is so much PVA in that paste that it uh, takes ages to dry and uh, after three or four hours it still was not dry and I could use it as a glue and texture paste and everything else. <laughs> now I'm uh, covering the sides with that same mortar texture paste. While this is drying outside in the sun I am preparing the metal door that will be rusty and crusty. Barbecue skewer and some diamond plate XPS of cuts. Stippled some reddish brown and the dark brown on it. Really nasty and grimy to simulate the base coat of the rusty door. Later there will be some dry brush and some wash and some weathering powders and stuff like that. But that's really enough for a base coat. Um, it is not dry yet, uh, but I glued it to the cardboard with some hot glue. And then I'm putting some PVA around it to glue some stones to the sides of the door. I don't know why I did not use the mortar here. I, I guess I, I forgot, forgot about it. it. <laughs> Could have used it. Off camera I built a T-beam from popsicle ice cream wooden sticks. Also painted it with the same rust color. Now I'm hiding this cardboard look. For a glue here I'm taking acrylic caulking uh, because it does not reactivate when it becomes wet and there will be water and pa paint and wash and whatnot. So um, I'm using this. I've put down some more of that diamond plate XPS and already pre-painted it with those two brown tones. It is not dry yet but I'm already mortaring some more stones on top of that. Sometimes you don't need to let stuff dry in between. It goes faster, 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 faster that way, faster. So this build is a speed build. It took five hours to finish. Quick sand for all the plastic parts. Took it outside to prime it. 
those two rusts, the base coat colors, the reddish brown and the dark brown, stippling it on everything. Really, really fast, fast really, really quick, quick, really dirty. dirty. Doing the stippling to get a rougher texture on it already. The cushion, the insides of a cushion, will be my basic material to bulk out the tree tops. Spray painted it in a green, gluing it on there with PVA. The spray paint is still wet, it is also gluing a little bit. So now we have spray adhesive and some homemade flock from Animal Bedding. And a highlight, I, I like to do some, I call it senital flocking. <laughs> Bulking out the base of the tree with air dry clay. Smeared on some PVA on the wood before and on everything else. So the air dry clay will dry with the PVA and then everything on. Gluing on the greeblies with acrylic caulking. Dusting everything with several kinds of homemade flock. There, there is, is a video. video. Dusting the bottom part of the house with some dark brown pigment powder. I'm using the dry brush for this. It's a makeup brush. And as always, in the end, some more pigment powders. Yeah, and one uh, guy, Freedom for Mars, on my Discord server, he sculpted this video surveillance camera for me. <laughs> Couldn't, Couldn't find, find one on the, the internet. internet. Painted it up real quick, adding it to the build, and now we call it done. And as always, thanks to my Patreon supporters. The links are in the description below if you also want to become a supporter of the Weltenbauer Club. Thanks for watching. See ya!